Okay, guys, I'm back from my brief break there. And uh, a few things were said in the chat when I was gone. Basically, Dark Gaming says, This fight is supposed to be hard. It's like fighting the final boss in other RPGs. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what's going on with the chat. Alright, so I'm going to cast Double double uh, Haste. And I'm going to cast it on... Asterion. And on Shadowheart. I can't. Shadowheart's out of sight. I need to move to get her in sight. Okay. Sheesh. Keep in mind, if he breaks my concentration, the whole thing is just kaput anyway, right? Now, <clears throat> as additional, I can now do a spell, correct? I mean, could I technically cast haste on myself too? I could, right? We could all be hasted, right? But again, if he breaks concentration, then it's all a waste of a turn, basically, right? Fair see? Yeah, I could. I could cast haste on myself, but he could break it. Hmm. The only thing is I could do... I already did my flight. I could fly away. Recasting haste breaks the current haste. Okay, thank you for telling me that. Okay, cool. You can't double cast haste. Gotcha. That's a little nuance I didn't understand. So maybe I should just hit him then, right? I should just try to hit him with something. I guess so. Just try to hit him with something. I don't know what. <laughs> Don't know what's going to benefit us here. Hmm. The only thing that wouldn't miss is Magic Missile, right? But even the maximum damage here would be 35 if it hits for max. So it's not a lot of damage. Cone of Cold. Because that could also hit him with a status effect. Yeah, and then I'm going to go with Cone of Cold. Here we go. He did 18 damage. Not a lot. And he did a saving roll. And of course, because he has the ability to roll a plus 10 and then re-roll the saving roll. Basically, he didn't do anything. Right? It was pretty much a waste. Okay. So now Shadowheart should definitely... I think she should heal us, right? That should definitely be a, a thing. But now, what do I want to do against him? We could go with Sunbeam and just hit him with Sunbeam, right? That could be decent. Um, we could draw out a spiritual weapon. We could draw out a Guardian. And maybe those things would distract him and also do, like, counter hit damage and stuff. You know what I mean? Um... Maybe we should do Spirit Guardian or Guardian of Faith next to him and then heal my party with Mass Cure Wounds, right? That could be a good move. That's my feeling right now is either Guardian of Faith <laughs> Yeah, either Guardian of Faith or uh whatchamacallit, um, or Sunbeam, and then the Mass Heal, right? And then she gets a bonus action, actually. Oh, shit! All right, you know what? Since she gets the bonus action, I might as well just do this now anyway, right? She's hasted, so let's do that. Only 13. He takes, like, no damage from anything, right? Okay. So now she still gets two actions. I think we should do a group heal. Wait, why does it only say six to nine? It literally just before said like up to 20. Now it says only not six to nine. Oh, cause isn't it your first action is buffed? And that's what it was. Like your first action has a buff on healing and now I didn't do it, right? 
shit. So I kind of blew it there. Oh wait, it's Mass Cure Wounds. That's what it is. Let's do Mass Cure Wounds. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Mass Cure Wounds. Okay. Wait, what's going on? I have to select people? Oh no, don't select yourself. No, don't. Oh, hold on. Go back. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Mask your wounds. You have to select how many people you want to heal. So I want to select him. I want to select him. And I want to select me. So that's it. Because we definitely can't reach Carlac. Okay. I guess that's what we're gonna do. Finish selection. Take your and we get Blade Ward as well. That's excellent. That was really good, actually. Okay. Because we get Blade Ward from that buff. And the other cool thing is Blade Ward will help against him. Right? Because Blade Ward... Has resistance... Yeah, has resistance against his sword. That's great. That's actually really good. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so I get one more turn, and do I want, maybe want to do Sanctuary on someone? I should probably do maybe Sanctuary on someone. Wedge her between him and Dark Scale Phil. Oh yeah, you think so? That way he won't go hit Dark Scale Phil. Like that. I would say either Sanctuary on someone or the weapon to distract him and have another target, right? But if I do Sanctuary... And by the way, they're all the same, correct? Put it on Dark Skill Phil. Now he can't be targeted or killed. That's right. He needs to keep his concentration. Thank you. Perfect. That's really good. Now he can't lose his concentration. That was a great strategy. Thank you. Now... Now here's the, lies the problem, okay? If I walk away, I get attack of opportunity. I can disengage, but that's going to waste a turn. I can't bite him because he's undead. Wait, I can bite him? I don't know why I can bite him. I don't really need the hit points, though. Yeah, I don't need the hit points. So I probably don't want to do that. Can't do anything like a sneak attack or anything like that. I could just go for melee attacks up close. He's not undead. I thought he was. The other ones I think might have been. But he's not. Okay. So maybe I could go melee attacks and then maybe disengage. Oh, man. It's tough to decide what to do here. The biting will debuff him. Does it? It doesn't say that. It actually doesn't say that, but if you think it would debuff him, then I probably should do that. I want his buffs gone, right? The thing is, I don't need the blood. I don't need the HP. He's maxed. But maybe it wouldn't be a big waste. Oh, shit, I forgot to end the concentration. Oh, shit. I forgot to end concentration with uh, Shadow Hearts, and now Karlak is stuck. Oh, she's stuck in the insect shit. That sucks ass. I blew it. I totally blew it. It will give him a negative debuff, not remove his buffs. I don't know what the hell that means. I have no clue what the fuck that means. What are you talking about? <laughs> Explain that in English. Okay. 
Well, that was rousing. I got four attacks. I'm just gonna stay st stay here. Let's see. Someone might die. Let's see if anyone dies. Holy miss! Yo, he missed a ton. He absolutely missed a ton. She can't get him. Fuck. Damn it. She's gonna lose a turn to get out of this, right? Because there's no way for me to break concentration. Or is there? Can't give up. Ah, I can do it. I can end concentration. Sweet. All right, Karlak. Let's go to Okay. What the fuck is that? What is this? Why does he have three dudes standing around him? <laughs> what? Blood? No, bloodless. I, what are those? He's permanently hastened. He can't be paralyzed or strained. Or have his movement speed reduced in any way. Oh my god. I don't know what's going on. How am I going to do this? Let's get her closer. Aye, aye. <sighs> Fif only a 15% chance to hit. Not enough movement to hit him with a melee attack. Oh my god. I have such a low chance to hit. What if I use Zephyr's Flash? Okay, that'll get me to him. But at least at least I'll be in his face. Let's try it. Because it's the only way I'm going to get to him. It did work. It actually hit him. I'm shocked it worked. Alright, and now we do Frenzied Strike. Critical hit. Whoa. Wow, that worked really well. Okay. Well. Sounds like the uh, landscapers are outside, by the way. <laughs> I, might, I might just go for all magic missiles at this point, just to be sure nothing misses, right? Because everyone's on his face, so I can't do anything else that'll be area of effect. So maybe just non-stop magic missiles. Either that or, like, blight. But it's only 30%. So you know what? Now, nah, magic missile, right? Magic missile that shit. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna close my window because of the man landscaper. Hold on. Ugh. The landscaper was escaping the land. Alright. And then I'm just gonna magic missile him. Uh. Now I'm gonna move away, because we don't want him to break my concentration. Have to keep going. Okay. Need to stay focused. Alright, Shadowheart's turn. What to do here now? He's down to a hundred health. So we're we're picking him away little by little here. Uh Six percent chance to hit him with guiding bolt. I I'm gonna abstain from that one. This might be a great time for Guardian of Faith and put it right next to him. 
So any time that he moves to try to hit someone, he's going to get clobbered by the Guardian of Faith. Yeah. Let's do it. Put it right... right here. Yeah. If he even twitches, he's gonna get clobbered by that Guardian. Nice. Alright, now... I should probably... I could, I could heal Asterion. Um... I could summon, I could summon spiritual weapon as well to try to get another additional hit in each turn. I mean, I could do a million things here. I could even use spirit guardians and walk up and get get a hit in, right? Flame strike is an area of effect, correct? Yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, I think actually spirit guardians would be the way to go and walk up and have them to get a hit. I think that's probably the best move. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Got 17 damage. Beautiful. So now. You know what I should do? I should cast Sanctuary on Dark Scale Fill again if I can. Oh, it has to wait a turn. Okay, can't do it that often. Okay. I can cast Sanctuary on somebody else. Right? Who would I want to cast it on? Hysterion? Make him hit Harlack instead. Nah, I then I'm gonna summon a spiritual weapon to get extra hits. I'm gonna completely surround him. He is completely fucked. Look, he's completely surrounded. <laughs> This guy is about to get pounded hard. And I'm going to take one step away. Because if he steps this way, he'll get hit by the Guardians, right? Yeah, see? Okay. So, Asterion. I'm just going to do what I did last turn. I'm just going to keep hitting him at this point. He has incredibly high defense now. So maybe I should use this instead. <clears throat> Beautiful! It's okay. That's fine. We're good now. Just stay. Who's he gonna attack? He goes up charm, that ain't gonna work. Damn! Damn! Yo, he's getting fucked up. Damn, dude! Damn, dude! <laughs> Yo! He got quad hammered. Quad hammered. That was great. Of course, the bummer now is that the Guardian's gonna die and he's down. So what are we gonna do here, right? How do we beat him? Because the problem is every time he hits, he absorbs. So the good news here was because we did it that way, he didn't get all his health back, right? But now we have to figure out a way to beat him without him absorbing every turn. So what do we do? We gotta figure this out. Probably, I mean, even the reckless attack. Oh, 84% chance. Wow. It's, I don't know why the chances are so great. I guess we should just do a bunch of melee attacks if they all have high chance to hit. Yeah. All right, so let's do this. It did insane damage. 
Oh, okay. And then we do a regular attack. And then we do the frenzied strike. He's about to die. Oh, this is good. He's about to die. Still breathing. In fact, we might just kill him now. This might be it, because I have magic missile. I think we just won. We just beat him. Yep, he's done. Time to win. Done. Amazing. Get your butt up. Killed his ass. So now... I mean, we gotta cancel all my concentrations and shit, right? Here. Okay. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interest. Short rest. Save the game. Good shit. Now I can shout out a couple of tips that came in. <clears throat> I received a twenty dollar tip. From Pizza Box Gaming, I want to show some love for RPGs. I'm a huge RPG fan. Thank you so much, Pizza Box Gaming, for a $20 tip. <clears throat> I appreciate that. And that gets us up to $102 in tips. Thank you so very much. It means it's hat time, and you know what that means. You know what that means. We have half an hour left on stream. I think we all know what hat is coming, don't we? <laughs> all right, let's do it. <clears throat> So basically, you know what saved me was the Guardian. If I didn't use that Guardian, he would have gotten all his health back. Think about it. He was hitting for tons of damage against Anastarian, and he absorbs all that health. So if I hadn't done that, basically, he would have got his whole health bar back, and it would have been like starting to fight over. But because I put that Guardian there, it negated every single hit that he did and kept him at the same HP level, and that's why I won that fight. So good shit. I put the Guardian down. Okay, so hold on a second here. I tipped a do Someone tipped a dollar says, I watched every stream of the game on No Joke up to now. I thought this was Skyrim. Well, you're wrong. This is not Skyrim. I guess you're, you've never played Skyrim if you think this game is Skyrim because it's totally not Skyrim. <laughs> not in any way, shape, or form. Thank you for the dollar tip. <clears throat> and I received a whopping $50 tip. From Saravok. All hail Phil, the master of Baldur's Gate 3. Congrats. So thank you, Saravok, for a $50 tip. Which means we have maxed our tips goal for today. Thank you to everyone who supported the stream. I appreciate that. Um, awesome. Of course, now, we gotta worry about a vest. I wanna play the game. We're running out of time. <laughs> So I'm just gonna grab a fucking vest. It's like take it, it's getting too long for multiple pulls and stuff. No time for this shit. Okay. All right. Thank you very much to Saravok, and let's get you on the leaderboard, and then we're actually gonna play the game. Okay. Well, if that was supposed to be a boss fight, I guess uh, the end of the game is going to be pretty easy. Because I spanked that guy. I mean, there were some factors there that were different, but I, I definitely kicked his ass, right? So. The Amulet of Baal. First blood on a hit, inflict bleeding upon targets that have maximum hit points. That's pretty good. The Abattoir Key. What about get orange nether stone? What's going on? What just happened? Oh, by the way, the guards just died. Yeah, the guards just died. See you tonight, Derek. Uh, map to Ball's temple. This sketch 
map shows a dotted line to follow to get to Ball's Temple below the Sketcher's instructions. Use a round street hatch to enter the city sewer. Proceed northwest to find your way into the Undercity Ruins. S blood, blood the skull. Blood the skull to pass the door. Follow the trail of murder to the Ball Temple door. Praise Ball. Okay. The Sword of Chaos. On a hit, regain one to six hit points. And it has both slashing and necrotic damage. So this could be good, obviously, for Lazel when we get Lazel back. Um, I want to keep my spear build, though. Because my spear build has worked really well for Carlax, so I don't want to change that right now. So I'm wondering what to do with that. His horned helmet. Deathbringer's sight. You gain dark vision up to a range of 3 meters or 15 if you already have it. The number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by 1. This effect can stack. Dauntless. You cannot be frightened. You cannot be afflicted with other emotion-altering conditions. Whew. <clears throat> uh. I'm going to give that to Karlak. I'll have her take a look at it. I don't know what helmet she has on right now. I think she has the haste helm. She has the haste helm. Oh, but that's right. This is considered medium armor. We don't want to put armor on her, right? All right, never mind. So this is stuff we're, we're not going to be using right now, but we could use it later. Now, what about that amulet? That amulet sounded really good. Can't give up now. Of course it doesn't. Oh, here it is. Uh... First blood on a hit inflict bleeding upon targets that have maximum hit points. That sounds pretty good, right? But I do have spell slot restoration. Yeah, maybe I should give this to somebody else. Maybe I should give this to like uh Asterian or something, right? What now? Why is the journal getting orange and netherstone keep updating, huh? Yeah, this is better. I'd rather every time that you hit a target with maximum HP cause bleeding rather than once per long rest score a critical hit and paralyze a target. Yeah, I'd rather have this. This is better. But why does my quest keep updating when I move it in my inventory? That's weird. <laughs> okay, anyway, so that's what we're going to do for now. Uh, we Let's save again. And I guess we have to investigate the room. So his his people are dead. They're gone. They're not even here. What about the, the ones that died at the door? Do they have anything? <clears throat> it's the quest item? What what quest? I don't even have a quest. Do I? Get Orn's Netherstone? Impress the murder tribunal. We killed Justice Saravak and did not become unholy assassins. For some reason, that was part of the Netherstone quest. I don't know why. Black Guards Greaves. You gain Long Strider and Athletics plus one. So it automatically casts Long Strider? Is that what they're saying? Because if that's the case, I probably want to put that on someone, right? Is the helmet good for Shadowheart? I don't know because I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm fucking stuck. There is work to do. The wielder's plus one bonus saving throws against spells. While obscured, the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. Yeah, you know what it is. It's better for sure. Yep. Can't be frightened. Can't be afflicted with emotion altering conditions. Yeah, it's better. It's definitely better. Okay. Uh, and what was I else was I doing? I was looking at these boots. Hmm. Basically, he just have long strider, right? Yeah, long strider is better than click heels. Oh, 
Oh my god, the Blackguard's Plate. All incoming damage reduced by one. Advantage on wisdom saving throws and checks. We'll give we'll give this to Shadowheart to look at. Key to the murder tribunal. We didn't need that. The Black Guard Sword. Dazzling Smite. On a hit infused with one of your smites, the target must succeed a constitution saving throw or become dazed. Shield of the Undevout. Your foes have disadvantage on saving throws to resist your spells or actions that inflict fear. Additional spell slot. You gain a bonus spell slot. Blackguard Gauntlet. Inflict wounds. Level 4 necromancy spell. Attack plus 1. Saving Strength saving throw. Plus 1. Damn. So, these are really good stuff I just found. Yeah, forget his boots of speed. Give him the boots that by default give him long strider. Where are they? I just picked them up. Why don't why can't I find them now? What the fuck? Here they are. And athletics plus one. I mean, yes, long strider is much better for him, right? Oh wait, they're medium armor! Oh, never mind. I didn't realize they were medium armor. Uh oh, forget it. We gotta take them off, right? Because we don't want him to have medium armor, correct? Is it okay if he wears them? It won't slow him down? Because him having long strider, I feel, would help a lot. Rangers can wear medium. He's good. Sweet. I'm going to give her the Cloak of Displacement, which seems better. So, when a wearer casts a spell that requires concentration, they gain eight temporary hit points. Oh, that's not bad. That's what she's using. In this one, you get momentum instead of hit points. This is good, too. While in concentration, you can't get knocked prone or be moved against your will. I think that's actually better than the Vital Conduit, actually. Yeah, actually, these are better for her. I'm going to give her these. That's actually much better. Okay. Um, her gloves. These are just... I think we're going to keep on her. Because as you can see, when you heal a creature, it gets Blade Ward. When you revive a creature, it gets Death Ward. And it gives you... Yeah, that's good. That's just super good for her. Okay. Now, what about her shield? So... Her current shield, you gain a plus one bonus spell save DC and spell attack rolls. Right? Advantage on dexterity saving throws. With this new one, your foes have disadvantage on saving throws to resist spells that cast fear, but I don't think she does anything that does fear. Right? But she gains a bonus spell slot. Right? So is that really good for her to get the bonus spell slot? She has shield bash with both. What would be better here? The special the spell slot or the arcane enchantment? By the way, thank you, Big Daddy Dubs, for a five dollar super chat. The game is phenomenal. I've been playing as Dark Urge on Tactician. Two times health makes it hard. Dirge playthrough is way different story wise. Hmm. Thank you. Big Daddy Dubs for the super chat. Okay. All right. Oh. Uh, I don't know. The extra spell slot or the plus one to the roll. It's hard to call, I think. Right? Nah, fuck it. I'm going to use the shield of the undevout. I'm going to use it. Okay. Now, what happened in the room... Stop me. Right now that we did this, did something happen? Did a room open? Like, what's going on?
There's a door to the left, correct? What's that? What the hell? What the hell? No way! Oi, citizen, get me out of here. It's a doppelganger! The investigator in town has been a doppelganger all along. Oh shit! Get here and f citizen, thank the gods you're here. My wrinkles are starting to chafe. As an officer of the law, I demand you free me at once. Yeah, let's do it. How do I free her? Use, right? The chains? Oh, what's this? Oh, never mind. Let's have a... Asterion do it. Not me. Get me out! Shut up, I'm trying. What are you doing? What chain? He's interacting with the wrong chain. Free me! I'm trying to free you. Shut up. A crooked touch. Release me, you ingrate! Thanks for freeing me so quickly. No idea what those barlist burks had planned with me, but those chains were starting to chafe. Though I do wish you'd figured this all out before I uh put the Oh, this is the real one. I guess I get kidnapped after the fact. Refugee. Well, at least it's over now. I didn't do it for you, I did it to gain access to Orin. After our chat at Charesse's caress, I thought it best to polish off the bottle I'd started. I started coming over all Woozy. My joints stiffened up quicker than a brothel browser's loins. Paralyzed. My vision went black. When I woke up, I was in chains. Overall, a terrible ordeal. One deserving of a drink. I bid you good day, but it's been royally shite all round. Are you sure we're finished? You might not be finished. I am. It's plain to see that I'm well out of my depth here. But you... Well, you gave these reprobates a proper seeing to. You clearly have what <clears throat> I don't. Courage. Insight. Heroism. The city needs you. Hmm. I overheard these pigs talking. There's a Baal temple deep within the old undercity. Yeah, we already know about using. this. A century ago, it was destroyed by a group of heroic swords. Let's hope history repeats itself, eh? Alright, he's out of here. Foul as piss. I'm out of here. What to do? We got some chests down here. Valeria's spare pipe? Valeria's hookah? Valeria's bomb? Valeria's snuff? And Mastodonian memoirs. What am I supposed to do with this? Why would I want this? <laughs> Why the hell would I want any of that? That's all junk. It says there's a small gilded chest, but then it goes away. Watch. Small gilded chest. Where is it seeing that? Through the wall? It's finding a small gilded chest like through the wall. See that? It's not in here, so I can't get it. So the only reason to come here was to save that that creature. <laughs> that was it. Oh, here it is on the other side. Why is it? It's stupid. Locked. Careful, I bite. Simple. Oh fuck. I'll use thieves tools. There we go. Arrow lightning. Gold. Black diamonds into camp. Memoirs of my death. 
describing in detail the visions of Baal seen by Serikov Anchev after his death in the Baal Temple centuries ago. The president often asked me what it was like to die. They expect me to present a warring conflict, the humiliation of defeat against the honor of sacrifice, but once dead, it's impossible to think of oneself of life, for you are in Baal's own embrace. Baal's domain is a red wasteland in a starless sky, so halted in time before the collapse of the final sun. There I wandered, tasting the end of all things. I was dragged back from the precipice, bound to a living husk again by my mocking sibling. I resented it at first, and had forgotten how to breathe, to eat all the animal functions of the petty who cling to life. But when I was cruelly resurrected, my faith was bolstered more through my death than it could have been through life. I would bring about Ball's perfect finale. The melting of the crimson sun above the lakes of blood, it will happen. The world will be carved in his image. Probably supposed to be like a, a little uh, fan service Easter egg reference. Because again, you guys are saying that he was like the enemy of the first game. The big bad of the first game. So, <clears throat> a little bit of extra lore for you. <clears throat> okay. Now there's a door on the other side. Don't know why there's a random skull. Mason's Journal. Never in all the years of my craft have I felt I was carving my own tomb. This armored husk I once thought a man has trapped me here during the renovations. While well, he says I'm free to leave after the work is done, ill moder this god awful smell, I'm no fool. Damn. Hmm. An opulent chest. Comfortable ash meadow wear and scruffy vagabond clothes. Actually, I'll take the the ash the comfortable ash meadow wear. That sounds good. Leather boots. Che rotten cheese. A brazier. I don't want to do that. Gold. Supreme healing potion. We have a ledger and a pouch. Legacy leather ledger and a pouch. <clears throat> Here in our log, the blood requisitions, the corpse wealth of our sacrifices taken from their dead hands. After chronicling the assassin's claim of their own tide, the remainder should be brought before the temple's leader, no longer the butler, as in past times. What follows is a detailed financial log of loot from dead targets, always accompanied by indulgent purple pros describing their cause of death. <clears throat> Nothing in the pouch. What else will we find down here? Anything? I mean, we already had a giant boss fight. You would think we're not going to find much, right? <clears throat> Someone there. I guess we'll find out. I also don't know what we should do next. Seems like we have a lot of quests to do, right? Lots of stuff to work on, so... I don't know what to do next. Backpack. Nothing. Dinner planning. The bodies of our lambs must be nourished. An exclusive deal has been made with the runner of a mass grave corpse yard in the Mirig Pleatlands. Preserved bo bog body will be added from now on as a side to every meal for the faithful. If the prisoners don't like it, they can starve. What are they talking about? Bog body? Oh, God. Bog body? When he's happy, he gets a buff. Did you see that? He's happy, so he has a stat buff. The first Orville. He doesn't have a head. Dear Quill. Do you remember me? We spent a sweet evening chatting to one another after you gave a heart-stopping performance at the Nashville Inn when I was on patrol tour. Heard you were headed to Baldur's Gate to get your songbook published, and I've pre-ordered a copy. To forgive a humble fist boldness, I send you in writing that I wasn't bold enough to say that night. Each one of your scales is a gem. Your eyes shine brighter than your throat fire. Images you have beset... Excuse me. Images of you have beset me since we met. You must have many suitors as a scholar of love ballads, but perhaps when you get to the gate, you'll meet me one starry night at the Blushing Mermaid. The letter is clearly unfinished. The fist intended to write it before sending it. Do you think we need that? I don't know what the significance of that is. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be very significant at all. A keychain. Prison key. 
Well, I don't know. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. I don't know what the uh, use of this prison was, unless that was for a quest. I don't know. Outside of that, I guess we're done here, right? Alright, I guess we're done. We've done, done this quest. It's over with now, right? There's nothing else to do with it. Maybe, we, maybe we'll run back into them back in the city one more time as like an epilogue of the quest. But it's been a crazy quest. They're all dead now. Kicked all their asses. We got some new items, which is cool. It's always cool to get some new loot. Okay. So now we know that's the symbol of Ball. Right? That skull with the stuff around it. That's the symbol of Ball. We didn't know that before. And now we know. Okay. So what's next? Let's take a look at our quests. Uh... Open the Temple of Ball and confront Aura and deal with the Red Hammer, the Divisor. Red Hammer, isn't that Iron Throne? Speak to Nine Fingers King at the Guild Hall. We haven't talked to anyone at the Guild yet. Yeah. What's this? Find the Diabolus Helsk. So that's going to be the quest to get the hammer in the in the Demon World, right? Maybe we should do that next. Cazador. We got to do Cazador eventually, but I don't think we should do it yet. We also have all these quests down here. The Night Song quest. The Bookseller. Baron's Coop and the fireworks. So we have a lot to do, man. Man, I don't even know what to do. Anyone have a recommendation of what to do next? Should we do try to get the hammer from the demon world? That sounds interesting to me. That way we can free uh, the Gith Prince. Shut the Night Song mission, you think? Night Song might be the best choice for next. Okay. House, you said the House of Greeth mission? I don't even know where that is. Yeah, I don't even know where that is. The House of Greeth mission for Nysong? We don't even see it, right? Long rest before we do next stuff. Let's, all right, it seems like you guys are all recommending stuff down here. That's probably where we'll go next. No, that's what I mean. House of Hope uh -oh. is where we have to go to I'll get the hammer, home. right? So we don't have that yet. We got to do that. We got to talk to the Diabolist. The Diabolist. Is a Diabolist someone who just plays Diablo all day? We haven't even been in this part of the city yet. Look. What's going on over there? What is that? Something's glowing. Do you see that? Something is glowing straight ahead. I don't know why. Uh, I guess maybe we should long rest. Sarah did a super... Uh, we upped her membership. Excuse, uh, excuse me. It says only 10 to 12 more streams left. Oh, darn. Only 10 to 12 more streams of Baldur's Gate left. <laughs> that's it? That's, a, that's whole games right there. Most whole games. No one has anything new to say. Everyone's just chilling and reading. Like everyone. Huh. Hookah? When did we have... There was a hookah in here before? I don't remember there being a hookah in here. Hmm. I guess we're never going to figure out who these people are. No one's going to clean the blood? Oh, come on. I guess no one's ever going to clean the blood. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, no, no. Oh, I just auto-selected that? Okay. What's going on now? Please tell me it's just normal sleep. <laughs> Okay. The singing continues. Mm. 
As long as it's not Chris's blood, damn straight. Chris, Chris needs his blood in his veins where it belongs. Wait. There's something going on over there. And there's something going on over there. What is all this going on? Well, let's save. We have a few minutes left. Clank. Let me back in. I'll bring Laroakin out here, yet sin shoop. You tell Laroakin <clears throat> I went for his god's damn night song, <clears throat> and now <clears throat> he has to pay up. <clears throat> what are you looking at? Shit, it's you. You went looking for the night song after me. Please tell me you found it. Am I supposed to remember this guy? Because I don't remember him. I found Night Song. Turns out it's not a relic. It's an Asimar. An Asimar? Else, if I'd known, I'd have asked for more gold. Kidnapping costs more than theft. Don't forget, I'm the one who gave you that contract. I want my cut. She's in my camp. If you want to turn her in, you're going to have to take her down yourself. Let's try that. Still alive, is she? <laughs> You better be telling the truth. And you better not get in my way. I'm not losing any more people. Not any good ones, anyway. Only to see who's around. But with cash like what Laroa can's offering, I don't think I'll have any trouble recruiting help. See you around, man. Oh, uh, I didn't know that was going to happen. I don't want him to go attack her in camp. I had no clue that was going to happen. I might have to reload. God, I totally didn't mean for that to happen. That's bullshit. <clears throat> Oh, now he moved. Huh? If I bring Gale here, he has a quest line, I'm being told. Oh, Christ. Look at this. These are enemies we haven't even seen. A water elemental? Look at these. A lava elemental? We did see one of those. That was in the forge. Remember walking around? If you're bored and I'm wrong, where have Jeremy and his mother gone? Everyone's just casting spells and causing problems. Look. Huh. Well, let's go to camp, and if basically this whole thing screwed up, I'm just I'm gonna reload. But let's see. Hopefully, it's not. I hope Night Song's not pissy about this. Very well, I Why did it select her? What? I'm look who I'm looking at, and next to, and it selects the one behind her. What the fuck? All right. Mother's milk. Your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? A wizard called Lorcan is looking for you. Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? All I know is he's put out a contract for your capture. I'll say, if you put out a bounty for your capture, there's a violent mercenary looking for you. Let them come, and let them find me. Dame Aelin will strike down any who seek to bring her to harm's home. Yet, <clears throat> it is better to cut off the head of the snake than to let its slithering snakeling swarm us unabated. This wizard, this wizard, must be held to account. <laughs> I will wring his neck until he's dead. Okay. Let's take him down together. Oh, his end will be one more strand in the great braid of our friendship. I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts. All the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Oh my god. Who knows what this wizard might have planned. 
Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hie we to this Leroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me. Well, I guess we're doing this. Is she a temporary uh, ally now? I guess so. Why? You don't really have to use your wings. You don't really have to. You don't have to use your wing. Where's she going? Where is she going? What the hell? Why is she doing this? Uh, what did she do that for? What the hell is she doing? <laughs> Act three, ladies and gentlemen. Now her wings are glitching. Look at this. Her wings are going interdimensionally. Now she disappeared through the mirror? She went into the magic mirror. What the fuck just happened? Oh, <laughs> uh, right. Sure. She went into the magic mirror. Anyway, I guess we're going to save and this is where we're going to adjourn for today. When we play again this weekend, I'm not even sure what to do, but hopefully what that did is maybe that gave us a quest line for it now. Right? I hope. I'm not sure what's what's coming next in that quest line. I don't even know where this Lorikar guy is. Right? I guess, is he in that magic library, maybe? And maybe we have to go in there and fight him or something? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Anyway, great stream today. Obviously, we finished the murder request line, right? That was cool. It was long, but we got it done. We had a big, epic boss fight. Got some good loot at the end. And uh, I guess this is going to be pretty neat uh, when we resume. I'm excited. I hope you guys are, too. Again, these are endgame plot lines, right? <clears throat> so they're some of the more interesting ones with the way that they unfold and stuff. So... All right, and guys, thank you so much, obviously, once again, for a very, very supportive uh, Baldur's Gate stream. And uh, I'll see you all next in the weekend. For those who are going to come back, more this weekend. Only 10 to 12 more streams of the game, says Sarah, and crying about it. <laughs> Only like 30, 30 plus more hours of this game. Oh, no, right? <laughs> all right, guys, thanks so much. I'll see you next time.